stop and leave. Because okay, you have no lawful right to be here anymore. I have told you every reason why legally you cannot be here, leave. We're not talking about this, we're not discussing this. This isn't a First Amendment right process anymore, this is private property. You are insulting people. We have groups and crowds of people coming in here. You are insightful of a riot yeah. when you use the words whore and you're going to hell and all this other insightful language when groups are coming. That's called inciting a riot. You're not allowed to do that. So now you are being evicted to the other side of the street. Leave. Okay, that's fine. We can just go across the street. Listening. We can just go across the street. Okay. That's public property yeah. over there. Let's go across the street. It's fine. We got it on camera, so it's fine. We have it on camera. Thank yeah. you. Go. Were you going to cite us if we stayed here? Well, we're going to confiscate all your stuff, then cite you. Yeah. Put you in the Inglewood jail. Were you going to arrest us as well if, if, if we stay if here? If you refuse, yes, sir. This is private property. You okay. don't have a right. The sidewalk as well? Sir, anything that's gated off, that means private. Okay. All, all right. right. We're, we're moving. They I just wanted walking. clarification. Okay. Yeah. Please okay. leave. You're we're not leaving. <clears throat> yeah. So the signs are good here. Just to, you can leave your signs wherever. However, if somebody comes by and destroys them, we're not responsible for them. No, but we can stand here with our signs. It's you just can the stand here it's, quietly it's, as long as you want to. The man with the bullhorn. What about without a make? What if you preach here without a megaphone? Uh, as long as he is yelling what he is yelling. And now that we've had Inglewood come out, no. It is a silent protest if that's what you guys want to do. However, the language that's being used is not appropriate for children. It's insightful. It's inside of this crowd, and crowd multiple times to where people are now coming into arguing. They have a legal right. They paid their money to be here. You is, guys is, did not. Isn't that what happens at protests? Uh, so this is not the protest area. We're letting you know, I know, I know protest I know. over there. But you, you have an issue with the words itself. Sir, I already told you, you're inciting a yeah. riot. It's not, Anything you say that is no inciting people, here. anything that you say that can be deemed as insightful, where you have people coming over here to engage, that's inciting. You are saying insightful no. things. It's okay, but we're not going back and forth with you about this. I disagree completely. Okay. You are offending God. Watch out, watch out. From the beginning, God cursed the land because of you, sinner. God cursed the land because of you, sinner. Shame on you. You're guilty in the eyes of God. You need to make terms of peace with God. Jesus came because you're sick. Your heart is sick. Your mind is sick. So you need a redeemer. You need a healer. Jesus came to heal you. Jesus came to set you free because you are captive. You are bounded in your sins and trespasses. You need a savior. You are in need of a savior. God is calling all men everywhere to repent, to turn away from sin, to come to holiness, to come to righteousness. But what do you do? Follow your idols. What do you do? Go against the commandments of God. Go against the goodwill of God. How are you children of God when you don't, you don't obey God? How are you the children of God when you're rebellious against God? You are children of the devil and the works of the devil you do. The works of the devil are manifested through the hands of men. That means you, children of disobedience. That means you, sinners. Repent. Turn away. You need trouble with God. You are on the highway to hell. You are on your way to hell. Believe today or perish forever. That's the loving message of Jesus for you. Of regret, it's best you turn from your wicked ways. The Bible says, Love not the world. If anybody loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. 
Homosexuality is an abomination. Abortion is murder. Pornography is adultery. And atheism is a lie. You cowgirls are going to bust hell wide open with your cow hat. Time to repent. Get serious about your relationship with Jesus Christ. Stop cheating on Jesus. Stop turning your back on Jesus. Oh, a bunch of harlots out here. A bunch of women dressed like harlots. Time for you women to learn the ways of the Almighty God. The Bible says, Charm is deceitful, beauty is fleeting, but a woman that fears the Lord is to be praised. You women are not praiseworthy. You women are a shame. You ought to be ashamed of the way you are dressed. You ought to be ashamed when you shake your behind. You ought to be ashamed uh, when you try and seduce other men. Because of women like you, there's a bunch of broken families. Because of women like you, a lot of little boys end up turning into horn dogs. Oh, didn't your parents teach you how to be a lady? Didn't your parents teach you how to be a gentleman? I don't see any gentlemen here. I don't see any ladies here. All I see is a bunch of sex freaks a bunch of sex freaks you people are obsessed with sex all you people care about is an orgasm you're a lover of pleasure you're a lover of money you're a lover of yourself rather than being a lover of god look at these hideous homos right here what an abomination god is going to get rid of you homosexuals on the day of judgment all you people care about is fashion, your image, your reputation. Who cares about how you look? Nobody wants to see your little chicken legs. Nobody wants to see your two mosquito bites. Only a pervert does. You're only attracting a pervert when you dress like a hoochie, like a cheap slut. Who taught you to dress like a slut? Who was it that influenced you? Was it Beyonce? I bet it was Beyonce. Beyonce is leading millions to hellfire. You are being led into hellfire when you admire Beyonce. She's a devil worshiper. She is possessed by demons. She has sold her soul to the devil. She is filled with darkness, that woman Beyonce. There is no light, there is no truth in Beyonce. She is an instrument of the devil. She's only making you more of a child of the devil than you already are. She's only making you more sinful and wicked and evil and godless than you already are. Beyonce is leading you in the wrong direction. Beyonce is leading you further and further away from the ways of holiness.